the world of crypto is moving away from procedural languages, imperative languages, and is moving to a declarative sense. And what does that mean? It means that it's a world of intention, not prescription. So you come in and you instead of saying, uh, and we do this every day with human beings. So 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 say, hey Jason, why don't we go to the bar together? What are you going to ask? You're going to be like, you would get and, kicked out of that bar, Charles. Just you would. Like, you're going to you're going to ask when and where. It is like, okay, uh, Fox and Hound, seven p.m. Great. You don't ask. Okay, um, tell me uh, how to get into my car. Tell me how long I need to drive in the car. Tell me what speed I need to drive that car. Tell me to stop at the light. Tell me to start again after the light. That's a procedural thing, right? You figure out how to get there. Declarative is I tell you to come there and you figure it out. Procedural, I tell you how to physically get there step by step. So currently crypto lives in a procedural world. When you want to go do something in DeFi, you have to build a transaction. And you have to know exactly how to do that. You have to know step-by-step step all the things. You have to know how the network works. You have to know how that DeFi protocol works. That's not real life. In, in the world of intention is, I want to trade uh, Charles token, or I want to trade ADA, and uh, or I want to transact Bitcoin on the ecosystem and pay in Bitcoin instead of ADA. These You declare an intention, and that's a partial transaction. Then a group of activities happen to build that transaction multiple parties come together and after all those parties come together it executes and it may have executed on five different blockchains with 11 different assets initiating three different dapps to fulfill an intention so i'll give you an intention you go to germany you're at the starbucks at the berlin airport you have your credit card you buy a venti mocha frappuccino okay you paid in dollars what happened you're, you had to convert your dollars into euros and you had to go from a credit card network to their bank. There's like 40 steps involved in that. So all these different things had to come together. But what was your intention? Your intention is I want to buy this coffee for this price with this instrument. You broadcasted that. The things came together. You pay a transaction fee or the vendor pays a transaction fee. You don't see any of that. You just You just pay it. You move on. That's how finance works. That's how markets works. That's how commerce works. Intense is the next big thing in the cryptocurrency space. And you know what? Cardano has a huge built-in advantage for all that stuff. Because of the UTXO model and state channel isomorphism, we can build an intense layer onto Cardano and we get a guarantee that whatever happened there can happen on Cardano and back. But that layer can have all these magical components inside of it to build transactions, to be a workspace and all this other stuff. Right now with Ethereum, it's horrendously fragmented. In fact, they, they pulled something together called the Cake Working Group, the Chain Abstraction Key Elements Working Group. And there's like 25 companies that are in it. And if you read all their documentation, they're like, we have a massive fragmentation and user experience problem. Everybody speaks a different language. We have all these layer twos. There's no way to coordinate it easily. And they're having to invest billions of dollars and all these different approaches to try to pull everything together. But for us, it, with things like Starstream and how we're building out Hydra and how we think about this stuff, I, actually, we're going to have an intense layer. In fact, we're, our first intent is Babel fees, if you really think about it. Because you say, I want to pay in my currency, and somebody else is going to pay ADA for that. It's a special kind of intent. And there's thousands of them that exist there. So we already started partnering with people on this. Like Near, we just announced with the Near protocol. It's a great network. Ilya is a phenomenal founder. I met with him at Salt. And near intents have come to Cardano. So we actually already have one intense layer. And we also have the DREC alliance with all the wallet guys. Right now we're talking about keys. But very quickly after keys, we're going to start talking about behaviors. In your wallet, you want to initiate something. And we talk about multi-chain. We talk about Bitcoin, DeFi. talk about Midnight, the whole partner chains ecosystem. What you're really talking about is I'm going to have a transaction that settles on three or four chains at the same time. Imagine Bitcoin, DeFi to Midnight. Bitcoin to Bit Cardano, Cardano to Midnight. That's three chains that are involved in something. Bitcoin user doesn't see it. The wallet layer doesn't see it. They just click a button and they declare that thing. So this is the kind of stuff, not TPS and not TVL uh, from the past that changes the future. This is the kind of stuff where you get a million users, 10 million users. This is the kind of stuff that when you're on Microsoft Windows and Microsoft, because of the Clarity Act, decides to build a wallet into Windows or Google decides to build a wallet into Android and you're one of the 5 billion users there and you want to use that, this is the stuff you're going to do.
you're not going to see DeFi. You're not going to see, you know, Solana or Ethereum or all of that's going to be hidden from you. You're just going to enter in your intention. Something's going to happen. You do that and it's going to settle on dozens of different networks at the same mm -hmm. time. And we need yep. to be in that conversation. Well, you're obviously building all the infrastructure for it. And I guess a part of you making sure you are is this whole digital chambers advisory board thing I just saw. What 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 is that? Is that the... Uh... I, I saw a big congratulatory post on X and I'm like, oh, yeah. what is this about? I mean, it's just like, we got to get this done. You know, we lived through four years of scary Gary trying to put us all in prison. It was, it was just horrible. What, uh, what we were de dealing with the, the Biden administration was an unmitigated disaster, you know, for being a cancer ridden dementia puppet, that guy was certainly effective at trying to kill our fucking industry. It's about the only thing he could do right was to go and try to kill crypto. Of course, he fucked that up in the end, too. He got Trump elected over it. So uh, so uh, it was bad. And we can never we can never go back to those days. We just can't. And, and so part of it is getting the right regulations in place for the right rulemaking and the right industry interfaces so that we don't run a situation where the SEC sues every single U.S. exchange and begins suing all the layer ones. We cannot go down that road. It's just not going to happen again. So Genius Act passed. And that created clear rules of the road for stable coins. And the next step is the Clarity Act, which is the market structure bill 